Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily connect a forecasting model like ERIMA with Google Earth Engine and then forecast a time series chart, how we can easily create. So today's session I will discuss how we can easily connect ERIMA time series model with Google Earth Engine and further how we can easily make the forecasting. So I already make a video about that how we can easily make the time series chart using Google Earth Engine Python API. So if you don't watch this video simply try to watch this video and then back to this class then I hope you can easily get it how we can easily work with for time series chart. So basically in this time, um, you can easily get this video in the video description. I already had the link about that. So here you can see previous class, I will try to make this type of time series chart of NDVI uh, using Google Earth Engine. So now I will show you that how we can easily predict the forecast for future NDVI value using ERIMA. ERIMA mainly autoregressive integrate moving average so this is one kind of forecasting time series model so in this time what can i do i need to import some library so here you can see i need to import some library one is that pandas mainly pd also numpy then also uh, matplotlib library i also need to import as well as also need the states model erima import so this erima is simply import so basically this is the model ERIMA and using this ERIMA we can easily make a model for time series forecasting as well as we also work for the scale on matrix basically these things we imported the mean square error to calculate what's the accuracy for the forecasting we can also calculate about that mean squared error value from here. So just a simply import after creating this type of chart and how I can create this type of chart you can easily get it from my another video. So this video link I also attach in this uh, video description you can easily check it and then move to here. So after creating this chart I simply import all of necessary library. This library I need to forecast the future time series chart mainly ERIMA and also check the accuracy about the mean square error and also plot matplotlib numpy pandas. I simply imported this type of things. And now I run the code. So now you can see it successfully run all of import library in here. First, then I need to create a data frame. I need to create the pandas data frame. So for that, I simply call the pandas mainly PT and call the data frame. In this data frame, I just make a dictionary. So I use here the curly bracket, and then I put here the date. And this date, I simply call the dates value, which is mainly year. And another value NDVI values. I simply put the NDVI values. It's come from my CSV file. Okay. So I already create this type of values. So it's come from this CSV file. NDVI and date values. It's come from the CSV value. So now further you run the code. Then I will get all of date and NDVI values as a tabulate format. So here you can see I can get this type of data. So you can get the data. Date is the one column. NDVI is the another column. So is date what is the value of NDVI we can easily get it from here so now this is my data set here I find out total all of data set in it's stored in the df variable further I want to use it and apply the ERIMA forecasting time series model okay so after creating this data frame or we simply uh, make the plot about the data set so we can get this type of time series chart about this data frame and then further in this time it's very important we are just spill the data okay train and testing so in this time i just use the train size and get the 0 0.8 mainly 80 percent data from my df df mainly spread my full data set from where i can get the 80 percent data randomly and i spill two way train and test i use the train for that ndv 80 percent data and rest of the 20 percent that i use for that test Further, I just make the plot for my train and test is filled. I simply put here, you can see I can get this type of things. So here you can see I can get this type of data, train and 
test as a simply spill. So this type of data or this type of value I use for train my model, mainly ERIMA. And this type of data I use for check the validation, mainly what's the accuracy of this model. For that, I use that this type of data. So first of all, after creating the data frame, this data frame I simply spilled in the two way. Some data set, mainly 80% data set, I use for train my model and rest of the data set I use for test my model. Okay. After doing these things, I just simply call the ERIMA. So basically ERIMA, I already imported this ERIMA. So I take a variable model and put at the ERIMA and then I train. I simply train my 80% data which is created the train. And I put the order is that look like that here you can see mainly 510. And this model, I just simply fit mainly fit mainly I just train this model and further print this model summary I simply run the code so now it printed that model summary so here I can get all of the summary about my model so all of uh, we can get the coefficient as well as a standard error z value p uh, value so all of those will it will be uh, uh, calculated and also you can see the different variable ndvi we can get the number of observation 290 uh, long likelihood we can get this to a fellow AIC BIC. So this is the all of summary about that ERIMA model after applying my 80% train data with the ERIMA uh, model. We can get this type of value. Okay. After doing this, getting this value, we are just simply put the forecast. Basically, in this time we check our accuracy, rest of the test set. Okay, so far that I simply put here the forecast and call my model fit with the 20% data set. And create the index and also make the data frame for making the mat, uh, plot so just i simply click the run so now it will also show about the result look like that and also you can get that you can see actual and versus forecasted value two things you can get from here and also printed you can see it show about that mean square error so basically we can get that 0 0.0084 so we can get very low error about that from this model we can get the 0 0.0084 error about this okay and further, we are just make that start date object. Basically, I want to create this type of time frame. It will be start from the year of 2023, first January, and predicted. Uh, you can see predicted 20. I want to uh, predict for that uh, years frequency years. I put here the frequency years. So now click to the run, and also combine all of those things. And further, it printed this type of this. I can say I can get. So now in this time, I can get that printed uh, uh, forecasted uh, date. It will be practiced this time, also this time value, also this time value. So all of date value it forecast and at least it forecast from year of 2048, uh, December 31. So it forecast from here. And now further it also created this type of time series chart. So it looked like that. So you can see we can get the date between this uh, year of 2040. And these things I want to export as a CSV file. So further I simply put the name suppose NDVI uh, final result final and run the code so now these things will be saved in my uh in here in the console and the sample here is the ndvi final so further i simply uh, download it so you can see the download so now these things will be downloaded i simply open this file so now i will get all of uh forecasting value about for my ndvi result so here again so you can get this type of value and this is my NDVA value and it will show about the predicted date. So here you can see we can get that December 31, 2042. So this is the predict from here. Also you can simply click here and we can get, you can see 2041. Also you can simply click on here, then you can get that 2040. So all of value, it also predicted. So basically it's very easy way uh, using this process, any kind of uh, time series chart or long period time series chart we can use and then further we also predict. So in this time, I just combine these uh, things with the Google Earth Engine. Basically, Google Earth Engine, we can easily create this time series chart. And further, this time series chart, we can also use for creating this type of ERIMA model. Uh, basically, this ERIMA is one kind of model. Uh, in this model, we can easily help you to predict for the future time series chart about that. Using this model, you can easily predict for any kind of uh, temperature or also rainfall or precipitation, anything you can easily do. Uh, using the auto regressive model okay we can easily use it and further we'll check out the accuracy about this model so this is the process to combine with um, google earth engine and erima model and also make this time switch chart i hope you also in uh, like this video if you have any comment or any you can simply put in the comment section i will try to explain these things 
and uh, if you want to join my live training session on google at tinchin basically we are also providing that uh, live train live training program uh, on google at tinchin so anyone can easily join and if you don't need any kind of uh, pre categorized uh, knowledge so for that you can easily learn it from all of those things from beginners to advanced level and basically this class will be start from that uh, 14 june and it will be at 13 june and now this session is the open and first ten this will get the 50% discount on this online training program so if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number and also contact with this email for that you can easily book your seat and join our uh, live training program and you can see basically this online training program if you have no knowledge about the coding or programming don't worry about that it will be cover all of those things from beginners to advanced level so here you can see all of course content if you want to enter is this uh, all of things you can simply contact with the whatsapp number and email and then confirm your registration so i already added all of those things in the video description you can easily check it and further confirm your seat so today is now thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe